Hey everyone, it's Jenny with Talk To Me Tuesday. It is Wednesday, December the 28th. I hope everyone's had a wonderful week, a wonderfully crafty week, um, and that y'all had a wonderful holiday. We were anticipating some pretty bad weather, so we did all of our Christmas the week before Christmas. We just didn't want to risk anyone being out in the roads trying to come to our house or us trying to go to their house, so we ended up just uh, doing everything before we had an absolutely amazing time and then Christmas weekend we just really just sat around and played games I did some sewing it, it, Overall, it was just a good quiet weekend, which was much needed. I don't go back to work until Next week, so I have a few days, but I've been taking the time getting some things done around the house I've done a little bit of sewing of course, y'all know that um, every year I try to do Bonnie Hunter Mystery Quilt. And so that's what I've been working on as far as sewing goes, um, is the Bonnie Hunter Mystery Quilt. And I have, uh, I'm about halfway there on the current clue. So I still have a few more of them to put together. I have all of my parts, all of my sections. Um, so just to... Just to let y'all see what's going on with that. These. And then, of course, these. So, um, I'm very happy with the progress that was made. I did have to make some little hourglass pieces, um, which I just dropped a whole bunch of them on the floor. I still have to trim them up, you know, square them up and get rid of the little ears on them and that sort of thing. So, but working on that. Um, last year, I kind of really struggled with the mystery quilt. First of all, I don't really, I wasn't crazy about my colors. I had a thought in mind, but, um, I just really, overall, wasn't crazy about my colors and how the blocks were kind of forming together. And so, when it was finally released, I ended up completely reworking the whole thing to make it to where I was happy with it. Um, nothing against the pattern or anything. It was just... I needed something more my style. So, uh, this year, I went with colors that, you know, speak to me. The purple fabric that I'm using, let me show you. The purple fabric that I'm using right here, I actually bought it months ago with the intent to use it as the neutral color for the Bonnie Hunter Mystery Quilt. And y'all know, I love my glitter fabric. I love it. Um, but I saw this, I absolutely fell in love with it, so I just went ahead and bought up several yards of it so I'd have it for my neutral. Um, and then the rest of it just kind of slowly came together. Actually, my son helped pick me out of the rest of my colors. I'm really happy with the way that this one is turning out, and I'm really loving the colors. I did make a few more Christmas trees. They have all left the house. Uh, I have gifted them all. I still don't have one for myself because I have gifted them all, uh, which is fine. Uh, I'll make some more. I've already gotten uh, everything ready to make some more. I don't know if I'm going to get to them now or if it'll be next Christmas. Let's see. The other thing is I finished up my daughter's tree skirt. Now, it was a um, Christmas village tree skirt. And it turned out absolutely beautiful. I'll show, share a picture of y'all with about on that one. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with how the tree skirt turned out. And my daughter was absolutely amazed and she loved it. Um, and then I guess the last little project that I've been working on. Here a few weeks ago, I talked to y'all about some little coin um, bowls that I've been making for this one game that we've been playing. Um, and now my daughter is also playing it at her house, the Red Dragon Inn. She's also playing it at her house, and everybody's kind of put in their request for uh, different coin um, holders. So, I've started making up a variety of different kinds, and I, I was just going to show y'all, too. Here's a couple of small ones that I made so that uh, these are for the individual people to put their coins in. Um, and so, this is basically the same style other than I used smaller frames. And then this one turned out really unique. It is a frosted blue, and it just kind of, it was a happy accident, but I really love it. Walmart actually has all their Christmas ornaments on sale. 
uh, because it's after Christmas. I went there this morning just to pick up a few things. And I saw these little mini ornaments. And I'm not going to use them as ornaments. But I figured they'll be a really cool little um, accessory to something. I don't know. I just felt like I couldn't walk away without them. And then the other thing. Here a couple of weeks ago, I went to Joanne's um, in Jackson. The one closest to us has closed up. The one, the closest Joanne's that used, but they, they ended up closing up. Hobby Lobby moved into the town, and um, after Hobby Lobby moved in, Joanne's closed up. Uh, so I was kind of really disappointed. Well, anyways, I went to Jackson, had to go to Jackson. Um, it's about an hour drive from here. There was this very nice lady named Becky um, that we ended up just striking a conversation uh, right in smack dab in the middle of Joanne's. And we were just talking about fabrics and projects and life and and um, everything like that. And it was just a really, really nice conversation. I really enjoyed it. We ended up talking for like 30 minutes just standing right there in the middle of Joanne's. And I just wanted to say, I have gained a new quilting friend, and it was just really, really cool. Thank you, Becky, for standing in the middle of Joanne's having that conversation. I guess that's it. I guess, I guess that's a complete rundown of everything that I've got going on. Um, I hope y'all have an absolutely amazing new year, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye!